I'm Ryan. And I'm Allie. After falling in love, we decided to ride bikes across America. Collecting love advice along the way. This is Love Cycles. No No flatties, no no whammies, no no crashies. Feeling Allie? Feeling great, Ryan. I'm feeling ready to go ride bikes again. Love bugs ready to go. Wow, it feels crazy to be getting back on the bikes. What you don't know is that we took six days off, and part of the reason is because we flew all the way to Washington. Went to my good friend Zach's wedding. Flew all the way back. And now we're ready to ride. (laughs) No crashies, no whammies, no flatties. Let's go to New York. We're about a thousand miles away now from New York. We're starting to close in on it. Bye bye, Capitol. So here we are riding in Madison and all of a sudden this interesting feller starts following us. Who is this? (laughs) Here we have my soul brother, Ben Leroy. Um, Ben lives here in Madison. It's a fact. And I'm looking forward to riding with you partway to New York. Yes. For at least like two or three miles. This is the first time I've been on a bike in a couple of years. But I am am excited to be out here with you guys. You've inspired me. Uh, I see that from the comments on YouTube that people are very much inspired by what you guys are doing and I am part of that legion. So you know how to navigate the city, right? Let's uh, yeah. go to New Let's York. Let's talk more, more bike. Let's talk know. more bike, all right. <laughs> ole, 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 ole. Slight left to stay on Capital City Trail. I want to give a big shout out to Mitch at Trek, the mechanic. He's got these bikes humming like they're brand new. Feels so good. Thank you, buddy. Madison is one of the friendliest of the bike friendly cities. And I really love it. There are bike paths everywhere and people just get it here when they ride bikes. They stay to the right and the cars stop at all the pedestrian crossings. I feel very safe when I ride a bike in Madison. How you feeling back there, Ben? I'm feeling awesome, Ryan Manduzer. <laughs> Whoa, gotta pay attention to where I'm going. I feel less awesome if you fall, though. <laughs> because we've got a strict no crashies, no whammies, no flatties policy on today, a gorgeous day in Madison, Wisconsin. Ben, are you sure you want to leave? You're having too much fun, bud. I don't want to leave, actually. This has been a wonderful experience. Uh, Allie, get on over here. It's time for a group hug. A moment of love. Oh, group hug. Yay. Yay. Thank you for joining us, my friend. Thank you for having me, man. Absolutely. This has been good, and I needed this kind of kick in the ass to get out here and do this. So. Yeah, good. It's you good. know what this series is all about? Do you have any love advice that you would like to impart to Ryan and I before I do. we part ways? I do. And I don't want to be redundant with some of the other things you heard because you've gotten a lot of great advice. But what I want to remind you guys is that both of you are beacons of light and love and that it's great that you're focused on the how to keep your bond together but it's really important especially in this day and age for you guys to be able to take that love that good feeling that what gets you out of bed in the morning and take that out into the world so you've already seen that in action along the way you've you've made great relationships with people and I would say that always treasure the two of you But remember that you are part of a larger ecosystem and that we are a time where spreading that love and light that you guys are feeling for each other spreading that out across the world is super super important so don't get isolated on your bike rides remember to be a part of the world wisdom for keeping your sanity in this chaotic world that's tough. I'm gonna, that I'm gonna, I'm gonna be honest and say that's tough because we are in challenging times and doing this, getting yourself outside of the echo chamber of of the 
digital cauldron that is social media of clicking on headlines every day, of refreshing your Twitter and your Facebook feed. I think that buys yourself some breath and some heartbeats. Um, but what you guys are doing when you see people along the road that you're not asking questions about like, I wonder who they voted for, I wonder what their politics are, but you're just taking them on as a human being. It's so important that we foster those kinds of connections and those relationships that we see people essence to essence and we recognize that they maybe aren't as bad as the caricature of what we think they are, but also we realize that we have a responsibility to be an ambassador for the good things in the world and that we let people see us like that. So just recognizing the humanity in people, even when it's tough, and it is tough. Thank you. Thank you for sharing that. It's the perfect thing. I say often how important you are, and uh, it is so wonderful to see the two of you having magic and knowing that you are out in the world doing what you're supposed to be doing. It is great to see that and watch that. We love Ben. And I love you guys. Uh, um, and we'll see you down the road, man. Yeah. The road of life. Yeah. We are back in the world of rail trails. This one is the Glacial Drumlin Trail. It is quite beautiful out here. And it is really nice to be back off the roads and into the wilderness. These trees today are acting as umbrellas because it's raining out there. Not very much in here. We've been riding like in a tunnel of trees for the past 10 miles and then we popped out here in this field of these little white yellow flowers and they smell so good. I don't know what kind of flowers these are, but they smell really good. I love them. Mmm. dangerous to stop in these little tree tunnels because there are tons of mosquitoes but it is so beautiful. This one has a weave above our heads. The trees are just crisscrossing and they've created this this fabric above us, a fabric of leaves and branches. It's really beautiful. Check it out, it's a little bit late, it's 7 p.m. We were thinking about camping back there 10 miles in Waukesha, Wisconsin. Had no luck finding a place to camp, and then we were like, oh wait, I think the Wisconsin State Fair is in Milwaukee tonight, the fairgrounds, 12 miles away. Here we are, riding to the State Fair, hoping to find a place to camp, but all we really care about is riding on a Ferris wheel and some roller coasters. This is really cool. We're riding up this street and we're noticing all these cars parked in front of these houses. Obviously, they're all going to the fair. And we're like, maybe we can camp in one of these backyards. We roll up to this, this nice guy right here. He's like, yeah, you can camp in my backyard, no big deal. And now here we are, headed into Jim's backyard. Apparently, they um, do this every year. The state far fair is always here and there's only 5,000 parking spots. So the neighborhoods here open up their backyards for parking and in our case tonight, camping. Jim. Great to Jim, meet I'm you. Ryan. Nice to Hi. meet you. How you doing? So yeah. where are you originally from? We're from Colorado, but oh, we started riding our bikes in Oregon and we're going all the way to New York City. This is so cool. Yeah. And look at this. We have a view of the Ferris wheel. It's right there. <laughs> We made it into the state fair. State fair. Deep fried bacon tater tots. Deep fried. Oh. I think it's deep fried everything. I've never been to a state fair in my life and, and all my dreams are coming true. There's deep fried everything.
making cream puffs. I guess this is the home of the cream puff. I didn't know that. Now I do. It's very loud here. We're here in Wisconsin, a place where dairy is very important to the culture. And I think it's appropriate that we visit the milk house and try some of this flavored milk. Root beer flavored milk is a winner, especially for 50 cents. Hey, Allie, I have a treat for you. Oh, what? Cookie dough Sunday. Oh my gosh, look at that thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're gonna do the giant Ferris wheel. provides some very pretty views of this whole state fair park. It was an open air like a Ferris wheel traditionally is and you are in a in a cage with a bunch of other people so it's not quite as romantic as Ferris wheels can be but it was cool anyway. They're sleeping. I can't tell if he's cozy or uncomfortable but he's just kind of chilling right there. This is super cute. These are the cuddling pigs. One of my very vivid childhood memories was going to the stock show when I was a kid. I started crying. It smelled so bad. And this is bringing back those memories. I like how all the sheep have party clothes. Look at these. We got a cheetah there, leopard, zebra. Hey, buddy. Hi there. Hi. Since the uh, Ferris wheel is a little bit less romantic than expected and more enclosed, um, we're now on the sky ride. It's perfect. And it's just the two of us, and there's no cage, and it's quite lovely up here, don't you think, darling? It's, I love it. I love it. I love being here. Very cozy night here in Jim's backyard, lit up by the giant Ferris wheel, which was, in fact, illuminated all night long. Now we're gonna ride about 10 miles to uh, the ferry dock and uh, go across the Great Lake. Neither of us have ever done this. All right, let's have no flatties and no whammies. Mwah. Made it to the Lake Express, super fast ferry across Lake Michigan. This is pretty cool. Taking our bikes on a boat. about two and a half hours. It is America's foremost high-speed ferry. And it's gonna dump us off in a city called Muskegon, Michigan. And then we're gonna get it back on our bikes and keep on riding, 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 riding. We are officially in Michigan now. Jumped straight on a bike path. We don't know where we're going to today. We jumped into the Eastern time zone. We lost an hour, so it's really about 4.30 p.m. Maybe we'll stay here, maybe we push on, I don't know. Tree. So, we are still in Muskegon. We're in a hotel room, and the reason why we're here is because we couldn't find any good camping. All the campsites were full. There's some giant Christian rock festival going on, so we didn't really have many options. And Ali found this great place online for $70. And we're like, sweet, let's do it. Ali, how is this place? Yeah, it's pretty grody. <laughs> <laughs> it smells bad, but... I wish I had a gas mask. Yeah, it's all right. We're going to be okay. It actually, it almost smells bad enough. You know, sometimes it smells bad enough that your body goes into shock and you can't smell it anymore. It's about at that level. <laughs> There's definitely some cigarette burns on the mattress over oh, yeah? there. Yes. Some authentic cigarette burn. Oh yeah, that's nice. That's just... Yeah, we can't open the windows either. They're like completely locked. Yeah, okay. But we have a great yeah. view of that container 
And you can tell that it was once a Red Roof Inn. Oh well, we're still in a beautiful town and we're gonna leave right now. Oh, ooh, that feels so good.